all right guys so returning here to our patch we have um, our basic patch here can open up the filter give it a little gain and if we change the envelope amount here the settings actually the attack see it gets more percussive with the shorter attack and as we increase you see that long rise there on the VCA that's the attack it's affecting both the VCF and the VCA remember so look look at this right now how slowly it turns up very slowly okay so let's play now a bit with the decay that's the amount it goes to the sustain so if we increase that you see it takes longer to decay sustain and really slowly now as you can see um, and if we make it real sharp it will basically jump from the attack stage almost directly to the sustain you see it goes straight to the sustain and the sustain level is this level as I keep holding the key so I can press it and change it here as I decrease, I hold the key and it sustains at a lower level. So this is important, guys. Sustain is the only parameter which is not a time. It is, in fact, a level of uh, the VCA here. So as we increase here, I can almost set it to max. So as I press and hold now, it goes full volume and stays there and the release is the part um, which uh, goes after I release the key and how long it takes to go from the sustain down to zero so if I increase this you'll be able to hear the difference I'll just press it once now you see it has a little I just press it once right now in still going down to the point where it goes a long way down and if I put it max here it will go on almost long amount of time so this is the release guys so you already know what the parameters here do attack how long it takes to go to the maximum level decay how long it takes to go from the attack to the sustain sustain which level it sustains um, as you hold the key and release uh, the time it takes to go from the sustain to zero um, so i mean this is fine and all but you may think what if I want to um, play different notes? I mean, what if I want to play higher notes? If I play it now, every note sounds the same pitch as you can hear, right? And we don't want that. We want to be able to play higher pitches. So we can do that by going with our volt per octave. Um, and this let's indicate with the blue because it's actually a, a modulation so now when I press higher uh, notes now on my keyboard it will play higher pitch because we're modulating here the volt per octave on the oscillator 
and a higher note will send a higher setting here. So. So this is getting uh, interesting already. You can already mess around a bit with these settings and go uh, experiment for yourself. Um, so we can go even further now. And instead of going gate to our ADSR, we could also um, automate this function to a sequencer. So we can right click here go to our SEC3, which is the default sequencer of VCV, which I find is quite nice. Uh, let's delete this for now. We will need it. Um, and now you can see the gate here firing. This sequencer has already an internal clock, but you can clock it yourself if you want here on the external clock. Um, it's uh, default to eight steps and this gate will open up our VCO, um, actually our VCA, as we um, take this gate out, it will open up sequentially, so you guys will be able to see that, red cable always for gates, so it's now opening up at the clock rate, and if we slow it down, slows down and as we speed it up it gets very fast and we can click here to in the run stop if we don't want uh, it constantly sounding so we can do that um, and then we hit run again to rerun the sequencer um, but this is still uh, just the same pitch, the notes are the same pitch, right? So what we must do is take our row one, which is all this set of knobs here. Let's take the blue cable to our volt per octave. And now, as we turn up these knobs, this row will give the same information on the volt per octave here. And it will increase, as I increase the knob, it will increase here. So it's the same as playing different notes on a keyboard, but now you're controlling the pitch with the knobs. So let's run the sequencer and we'll see that in action as I turn these knobs. This is fine and all, but um, the amount uh, that this changes is practically infinite. So we could use a quantizer, which is a module that is going to quantize the notes for us. And um, basically what it does, it, it sets intervals in which notes can uh, appear or not appear, um, as we said here. So if I have a uh, knob position set to a certain amount, it will round up to either the lowest interval here or the highest uh, interval, the highest uh, band, as we may call a band. And there are different bands, so we can deactivate certain uh, bands here and we can get just quantized uh, voltage uh, just across these bands we activated. So if we hit run now, We can deactivate on the fly.
Okay, so guys, uh, that's quite a bit for one video. Go ahead and experiment, see what different rhythms you can find. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next one.